guys, this is Dr. K. I wanted to post a quick video on calculating a standard deviation and an average or mean, as you'll see in other videos if you watch them, and also apply the g-test. And while I'm at it, I figured I might as well show you how to do this on a TI-83 calculator. The 8384 um, calculator worked exactly the same way. So let's do it uh, starting with Excel. So suppose these are your data points right here. And you'll notice I already have an average and a standard deviation calculated. Let me show you how I got those. It takes just a few seconds. Let me delete them. And I'll say, go ahead and say equals, equals sign, then type average. And you can do this on any version of Excel. So then you notice I highlighted. I can also click and drag and highlight the data that I'm looking at. And I hit enter, and that's the average for these five data points. For the standard deviation, I do very much the same thing. The command is STDEV, then open parentheses, select the data, again, that you calculated the average for. You can close the parentheses or just hit enter. It knows what you're doing. And there's your average and standard deviation. So now, in order to calculate the G value to determine whether or not you have a point to throw out, uh, what you do is first calculate the experimental G value. And that's done by taking the suspected value, subtracting the average, and then dividing by the standard deviation. So let me go ahead and do that here. I go equals, and then the suspected value I put asterisk next to. Oh, and I'll put a parenthesis. Minus, minus sign, the average, click on that value close the parenthesis and then divide by and then the standard deviation. So you notice it highlights all the values that we're looking at. When I hit enter, that calculates the G value. Now, we had five data points. So the number of values, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, this is from your uh, experimental pre-lab work. Uh, we have five data points. The critical value is 1.672, and you'll see that 1.73 is greater than 1.672. And what this tells us is that statistically, this data point, data point number five, uh, doesn't belong to this set of data, and we can throw it out. Now, the nice thing about Excel is when you throw the data out, just by deleting it, hit delete, it recalculates the average and standard deviation. Ignore this calculation now because this value is missing but the average and standard deviation. And these are the new average and standard deviation you would report uh, in your data. Now, if you want to do the same calculation in a TI-83 calculator, first you've got to turn it on, clear it, and then start with statistics, and you're going to edit. Now, you notice I already put in four values. Let me go ahead and put in that last value. Just move on down. That last value was 6.95. Hit enter and go back to stat and calculate and you want one variable statistics. Hit enter, and enter, and these are the one variable statistics. Now you notice this is the average, the 4.612 that I got from Excel and then this is the standard deviation this is the S value in a TI-83 calculator. All the Texas Instruments calculators call the standard deviation that we use in the laboratory S, so 1.3475. With these values, then you can calculate the G value and compare it to the critical value for G uh, from this table. Well, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know.